written by Peter Thomasy and penciled by Travis Moore, Detective Comics Annual No. 2 was published a few days ago, featuring an epic confrontation between the Dark Knight and the Reaper. The book opens in Paris with a couple celebrating their fifth anniversary when they were attacked by a thief who wanted to steal their money. The assailant, however, was ripped by a mysterious man whose identity was not revealed to the shocked couple. The killer was the Reaper, one of Batman's oldest enemies who came into direct conflict with him in the first year of Batman's crime fighting because he didn't approve his ruthless methods of killing the criminals. The Reaper is originally Judson Caspin, who spent his life as a ruthless crime fighter after the death of his wife. For unknown reasons, he moved to Europe, where his son Julian would leave him, before moving back to Gotham City. In the Wayne Manor, Bruce reads about the Reaper's recent crimes. He goes back to the Black Casebook. This casebook is a record of Batman's earlier adventures that featured supernatural elements as some of Batman's secret projects. He reads about Judson Caspin, the Ruthless Reaper, and how he started fighting crime in Gotham long before Batman. The Reaper disappeared when Bruce was very young, but he came back years later with his daughter Rachel, a very wealthy and angry man. Judson saw his wife murdered and decided to become the judge and the executioner. His return to Gotham as the Reaper brought him into conflict with Batman, who was still new as a crime fighter. Their confrontation was brutal, but Batman ultimately defeated and unmasked him and found out that he was his fiancé's father. Batman tried to save him, but Caspin chose to fall to his death rather than go to jail. His death changed Rachel forever. She decided to break up with Bruce, and he never saw her again. But if Judson is dead, who is this new Reaper? Bruce and Alfred traveled to Crete, where recent crimes have been committed by the Reaper. Alfred, who speaks Greek fluently, acted like a drunk man. He was soon approached by some punks who wanted to steal his wallet. But as expected, the ruthless Reaper appeared and attacked the punks. As he was about to rip one of them, Alfred yelled Batman in Greek language. That distracted the Reaper when Batman suddenly attacked and engaged the killer. They broke into some bar and briefly fought, but the Reaper soon disappeared and Batman got busy saving the innocents. Batman, however, caught something from that fight which led him to a nearby bookstore. He found a secret door with stairs leading to the Reaper's base, where he keeps his suits and weapons and plans for his attacks. Batman fought the Reaper and this time he managed to defeat and unmask him to find that he is not Judson Caspin. Batman didn't recognize this young man. Notice how Batman lifts the man with one arm. Of course, this is not the first time we see Batman accomplishing some superhuman feats. But I think it's time for DC to classify Batman as a metahuman, or a man with enhanced abilities. The man says that he is just told what to do, and at that moment, Julian Caspin, the son of Judson Caspin, appears on the screen and addresses Batman. Julian says that Batman knows his father and sister, but he does not know him, because they never mentioned him before. Julian left home when he was in his teens and when his sister was still a baby, shortly after his mother was killed. His father tried to avenge his mother's death by striking fear into those who took everything away from him. Julian left his father not because he hated him, but because he felt he was limited and he was not satisfied with his father's measures. Julian took up his father's dream and broke all limits. He has made the Reapers an international implement of vengeance, whose aim is to destroy Batman. Suddenly, another Reaper broke into the place and attacked Batman. The masked Reaper was about to kill the other Reaper, when Batman intervened and prevented him. Batman attacked the Reaper, telling Julian that he is a killer just like his father and these brainwashed Reapers he has trained. Batman assured Julian that he will beat every one of them and will eventually find him and will beat him too. 
Batman defeated the Reaper and was about to leave the place with the young man who was injured. But the Reaper revealed that he had a time bomb to explode. Batman managed to escape with the young man before the Reaper exploded the whole place. The book ends with Batman contacting Alfred and reporting that he is safe, but not sure if that was a happy ending. Detective Comics number 1005 will be published in few days from now, with the conclusion of the Arkham Knight story which I've been covering on this channel. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Thanks for watching, and have a nice one.